The best way to get better at programming is to practice. In this example, we're going to look at a couple different ways that we can round values. As always, this file is available for download from the link in the description below. You can then pause the video, try it on your own, or follow along. All right, so let's get started. We have here a double. Notice that it has 3.14. This could be any value we want. In fact, we'll be changing it in just a little bit. We just want to show you a couple different ways that we can work with this. So we're going to do a C out, and we're going to use the floor command first. And so we're going to specify floor, and then I'm going to put in what do we want to take the floor of. The next thing we're going to do is the ceiling command. Ceiling command is just S-E-I-L. So this is how we used to work in C. If we go and run this, you'll notice that answer is 3.14. The floor drops us to 3, and the ceiling raises us up to 4. So no matter what that variable value was, it always went in and dropped us, if we use floor, to the integer below it. Or if we're in the ceiling, it took us up to the next integer value. So you might say, well, how did we use to round this? Well, we could come in here and say C out the old fashioned rounding would be floor answer plus 0 0.5. So if we add a half to it, did it bring us up to the next number? If we run this, you're going to notice it does not. It rounded us to three. Okay, so this is kind of an old-fashioned rounding. If I come in here and I say 3.64, you'll notice that if I add 0.5, that's going to bring it up to 4.14, which is going to round us to 4. So you might be asking, well, why did we use floor and ceiling? Well, floor and ceiling were very fast to implement. And because they were fast to implement, and this was coming out back years and years and years ago when computers were not very fast, we needed speed. Now with C++, they have modified this. And so we can say C out, we'll call this the new rounding. And there is now a round command. And this is a function that we just pass in answer to or whatever our variable is. And now if we run this, you're going to notice that that round automatically does it. Okay, you know what? It took that 3.64, it rounded it up. I didn't have to do any manipulation. So this is a little bit slower, but with modern computers, it doesn't matter, and it's so much faster and easier for us to use. So this is how we can use floor, ceiling, and round. Now, sometimes floor and ceiling still have their purpose. That's why they exist. So, for example, if you were to ask maybe you had 25 products, and you can put two products into a box, how many boxes do you need? Well, if you say 25 divided by 2, that gives you 12 and a half. You can't ship a half a box. So you can use the ceiling command to automatically force that rounding up and say, look, you've got to have 13 boxes to ship them. So there definitely are uses for these. You just have to figure out, hey, is this a particular case where I need to use it? So rounding works, floor still works, ceiling still works. Rounding is available in C++. Like this video if it helped you. If you want to learn more about getting better at C and C++ programming, please watch the rest of the series and consider subscribing to the channel.